Hi, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be looking at how you can invite your family member to Poland if you are a student. Inviting family members to visit you in Poland while you are a student involves a few steps to ensure they can obtain the necessary visa. And these are what we're going to be looking at in this video. Okay. In case you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Promise Breno and we are changing lives. We've made content already that people can use to move abroad through work or travel or through other legit ways. Okay. And we also drop content every week. Okay. So ensure that you subscribe and click on the bell so that you'll be notified whenever we drop content. We drop content every week. And don't forget to click on the like button and share this video to support us. Okay. All right, without wasting your time, let's look at the first step. What you need to invite your family member to Poland is that the first, you need to write a letter, okay? You need to write an invitation letter. As the host, you need to invite, I mean, you need to provide a formal invitation letter. This letter should include your full name, address, and contact information. It should also include details about your student status, for example, university name, course of study, duration of stay. It should also include information about your family members, for example, their full names, relationship to you, if they are your brother, your father, your mother, and their passport details. It should also include purpose of the visit. Okay, for example, are they coming for just like a family visit? Are they coming to attend an event? Are they coming for your graduation? You should include it in that letter, okay? Then you should also include duration of their visitation. How long are they going to be staying? You should also include the assurance of accommodation and financial support if applicable. You need to include where are they going to be staying during their visit. Very, very, very important. Then the second thing you need to have is you need to obtain proof of enrollment get an official document from your university confirming your enrollment as a student this can be a letter from the university or a current student id okay very very important and another thing you need to have is proof of accommodation provide evidence of where your family members will be staying during their visit this can include rental agreements or it could be a letter from your landlord, or it could be a confirmation of hotel bookings. Very, very important. Another thing that they need, I mean, another thing that you need to have is financial support. Demonstrate that you or your family members have sufficient funds to cover their stay. These can include bank statements or a scholarship document, if applicable, or a letter of financial guarantee if you are sponsoring yeah stay then ensure that your family members have travel insurance that covers their entire stay in poland okay it is not expensive okay travel insurance is not expensive um i think with 150 probably 200 euros you'll be able to make one for one year for one person okay so get a travel insurance for them the sixth thing that is a must have is family members document. Your family members will need to prepare first valid international passport. It must be valid for at least three months beyond the planned stay, okay? And they also need to have passport size photographs. In order to know the specification needed, you can find them at the, at the embassy website. Also, they need to have completed application form, that is completed visa application forms, so, for example, Schengen visa application forms, if they require a short-term visa, which in most cases, you know, that is what is required, the Schengen visa, because it's the kind of visa that someone gets if they want to be in Poland territory for less than 90 days, okay? Then another thing is that they need to submit their application. Your, your family members need to submit their visa applications at the nearest Polish consulate or embassy in their home country or where they reside, okay? So in this step, they need to, they should make an appointment at the consulate or embassy, bring all required documents, including your invitation letter, proof of enrollment, 
um, accommodation proof, uh, financial support evidence, and their own documents. Those things that I've listed earlier, they need to come along with them, okay? Then they need to pay the visa fee. Your family members will need to pay the visa application fee. The amount may vary, so it's best to check with a specific consulate or embassy, okay? Very important. Then they need to attend the visa interview. If required, your family members may need to attend a, a visa interview. They should be prepared to answer questions about their visit and provide any additional documentation if needed. All right, very important. So I'm gonna group, I'm gonna group uh, number seven, number eight, and number nine together because I believe that they work hand in hand, right? When you make an appointment, right? Then after you've gotten your appointment, then you go to attend a visa interview, which I believe there should be a visa interview because they will, they will be asking you or they should be asking you some questions, you understand? And that is where you will now submit your document and now pay your visa fee. Hope you understand. All right, then the tenth and final thing that needs to be done is that they need to wait for the visa decision. So after the application and an interview, the consulate will process the visa, okay? Processing times can vary. So it's advisable to apply well in advance of the intended travel dates, okay? Yeah, so let me give you additional tips, okay? Additional tips that can help you regarding visa application, regarding this visa application, okay? So you need to check the specific requirements of the Polish consulate or embassy where your family members are applying, okay? As there may be additional local requirements, okay? You need to do this step, very important, because, yeah, I've mentioned this, uh, you know, I've mentioned requirements here, but there could be other things. That's why you need to check, and information keeps updating. So it's very important for you to check to ensure that they don't miss any document, you know, in case any new document is added or any new requirement has been added on the website, okay? Then another thing, another additional tip that I want to give you is that you need to ensure that all documents are in order and translated into Polish or English if necessary. If the documents they already have are in English, then there's no need for them to be translated into Polish, okay? But let's say, for example, you are a French speaker, right? And you know, your family are French speakers as well. The, all the documents are in French. Then in that case, these documents have to be translated in English or into Polish. Do you understand? And something I didn't say is that after you've written that visa invitation letter, I would recommend that you should notarize it. Go to the nearest notary close to you and notarize it, okay? Very, 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 very important. Then another additional tip I want to give you is that be proactive and provide any additional document or, or information promptly if requested by the consulate or by the embassy, all right? By following these steps, you can help facilitate a smooth process for inviting your family to visit you in Poland. Okay, guys, that is it about this content. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so and click on the bell so that you'll be notified whenever we drop content. We drop content every week. And don't forget to like this video and share it with your contacts. Okay. If you want to talk to me one on one, then the link is in the description under this video. You just need to go there and click on that link. All right then do the needful. And after you've done the needful, you contact me on Instagram or Facebook with a screenshot of your booking, all right? Then we can um, decide and um, we can decide a particular day or time or particular date and time that is suitable for both of us. And we can, you know, address your issue. We can, you know, talk about it together, all right? And also we create CVs. We create European Standard CVs. The link is in the description also. Do the same, follow the same step to contact us as well. All right. And also, we also handle universal admissions in Poland. All right. 